I told my ex-husband outside of our kids I don't care about his life and I don't owe his fiancé anything. The author of the post is listed in the description, so my 36F ex-husband Tom, 35M, left me for his work wife, Tammy, 25F. Two years ago, I never liked her even before I found out about their relationship. The first time I met her at a work event, she told me while I was heavily pregnant my youngest, better up your wife game or I might steal him off you. Well, three months later, she did. This woman literally came with him to help pack the day he moved out and tried to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation on how she wanted our relationship going forward because she was going to be in my life. Than said as a joke, Told you I'd steal him away, not going to lie. I'm thankful she did. Because when my ex made a comment about her being 23 and her brain not being fully developed, I got the ick so bad it turned my heartbreak into relief. I got everything in the divorce because I got him in his affair fog and gave 50-50 custody for our kids' sake. I'm civil for the sake of my kids so we can both attend events without drama, but other than that, I couldn't honestly care less about them. Around June, Tammy came instead of Tom for pick and practically skipped towards me to show off her engagement ring saying she wanted me as a bridesmaid along with my daughters for something I didn't catch because I was in a rush to get our cat to the vet. She got upset because I just said, hmm, her whole conversation per Tom's texts a few hours later. Same happened again in September when she told me she was pregnant, which again my zero fucks given upset her. In December, when she told me the second I opened the car door, Tom's finally getting a son, to which I sarcastically replied, I'm sure Lord Tom's excited for an heir to take over his lands and titles, which caused drama too because Tom's family found it hilarious when Tammy was bad-mouthing me. December was the last time I saw her till today at drop-offs with Tom. As they approached me, I noticed Tammy didn't look pregnant anymore. Tammy tearfully said, We lost the baby. I didn't answer. Just told Tom our second daughter has a birthday party tomorrow at 3, and the oldest has gymnastics at 5. Tammy literally screamed at me I was a heartless bitch, and bitter than grabbed the girls' bags walking away. Tom said I could show a little humanity towards Tammy, and regardless of my feelings, she is my kid's stepmother. I told Tom I don't care about what he going through because outside our kids, I don't care about them and I don't owe Tammy anything, especially pity. He called me an asshole, along with other things, and left. Usually this wouldn't bother me, but my ex-in-laws, who I have a good relationship, have told me I should have shown Tammy some empathy and at the very least pretended to care for the sake of the kids. Relevant comments before update commenter so you're supposed to show empathy to someone who ruined your marriage and goes out of their way to get a reaction out of you no nta answer she said she wanted to friends and tells people like my in-laws that i can't put the past behind me for the sake of the kids even called me a pick me commenter he's no longer your problem he's hers until she becomes too old for him enjoy your life that's the best revenge answer I'm enjoying my life honestly. Single life is so underrated. I adopted two senior cats last week because I found out at my local book club our shelter has an end-of-life event every month so you can give a senior cat a loving home before the end. I think when my kids are grown, I'm going to be the local cat lady everyone thinks is a witch. Commenter. NTA, you should have filed for more custody. He isn't mentally well. She doesn't deserve shit. Better person than me, because when she said that at the party slash first meeting... I'd have broke her nose if I was the same sex. You owe neither of them anything aside from the little human interaction needed to make sure the kids are taken care of. He is a piece of shit and she a terrible human who, I'm sure I'm gonna get flack for this bit, but got what she had coming. Karma. You are cordial and don't deny their father access to them 50-50. I'm gonna take on good faith you don't bad mouth him in your home when he isn't there, but the kids are. Interactions out of sight and earshot of the kids that are not sugar, rainbows, and unicorns are not on you to make sure they are. She is an adulterer, homewrecker, self-centered narcissist who has been trying to rub this in your face and use your kids' emotions and well-being as a shield for herself from the consequences. Fuck her. Answer. No, I'd never badmouth him to the kids ever don't get me wrong at the start of everything. I did shit-talk them both with my family and friends, but now couldn't care less about them. Our oldest is 13, then we have a 12, 7, and 2-year-old, so I'm gonna let them form their own opinions as they grow older about them. I will say Tammy is a good stepmom, to which I'm glad. Commenter, 
I still wouldn't trust Tammy not to try to poison them against you, out of spite. Answer, my girls are extremely smart, and my oldest told her father, I've never said a bad word about him to them, so she wouldn't stand for it either, nor would she tell them any information about me. Both Tom and Tammy have asked multiple questions about me in the past to the kids, and they tried to convince them I was a bad person during the bridesmaid situation. My oldest told me, and her grandmother, ex Mill, I told my ex I'd take him back to court if it ever happened again, and his family said they'd back me. Update 1. So, I texted Tom today due to Tammy's mental state. I prefer if he or his mom would do all the picks up from now on. And if Tammy's mental health gets any worse, I want the girls full time for a couple of weeks till it's a healthier environment for the kids. Tom tried to call me, but I texted him I prefer texts, and he said wanted to have a heart to heart. Yeah, not gonna happen. I asked did it involve the girls, but he said yes. But it's also about all of us going forward and the relationship he wishes for us to have. Basically, he wanted family therapy with himself, me, Tammy, and the kids. I said, if he thinks the kids need to see a therapist, I would be happy to find one we both can agree on, but again, he just kept bringing it back to us, so after a few hours knowing it was going nowhere, I just left him on read. I called my ex-in-laws, told them the situation, and how I don't want to be involved with anything Tammy and Tom unless my kids are involved. I reminded them I've expressed multiple times I don't care, and I don't want anything more than a civil co-parent relationship. I told them, even though I value my friendship with the family, ex-in-laws, I will go low contact if it happens again. Mill apologized, saying she was very emotional because at the end of the day, Tom is her son, and he was heartbroken, plus the baby was her grandchild, which I completely understand and I forgive her. Now here where it gets weird... Tammy showed up to my house now I've watched enough true crime to know not to open the door and I talked. Recorded her by the doorbell cam, she was crying, saying she was sorry and she just wanted to be my friend. Then she said I need to forgive her because she lost her baby as karma for what she did to me. She was saying other stuff, but I couldn't understand her. I rang the police, then my brother and Tom. She didn't get arrested or anything, but Tom talked to my brother, said he was taking her home and agreed it's best if I have them full time for now. My girls are at home safe. My brother will be staying with me for the foreseeable future. I'll be seeing a lawyer first time Monday about full custody and a restraining order because I've a sinking feeling it's going to get worse. Before it gets brought up, I just kept telling Tammy leave my property because I don't want to hear it. I don't know why I was brought into this because I was looking forward to my chill weekend. I'd like to also say for the people in my last post calling me jealousy, bitter, I've nothing to be jealous of. Someone who cheats on you isn't a prize, he is Tammy's problem now, and for those of you saying my, I don't give care about my ex's life means I'm not over him because I don't want to be friends with him or Tammy. Your ex moved on when they say leave them alone, they're not playing hard to get, they really don't want to talk to you. Relevant comments before update. Commenter. I hope it gets better for you. But as you said, and I agree with you, it's going to get worse. I don't understand what it is that people want you to do. He cheated. Left and both of you moved on. Why should you care about his life? If it doesn't involve your children, it doesn't involve you. Your happiness trumps whatever he got going on in his life. Answer. They want me to be the bitter, evil ex-wife to justify themselves, even though I feel nothing towards either of them, like I'd have the same reaction if they told me that day they won the lottery. I've gotten to a place I'm happy with my life and love it. Maybe they think that since I've not gone on a date since the divorce, I'm still not moved on, but I've not dated anyone because I don't want two single life is awesome. Why ruin it? Update 2. I won't be updating till all the legal issues are over with, and my own mental health is in a better place, so it could take anything up to three, six months. I spoke to a lawyer today. I'm obviously not going to go into details, but with all the evidence and witnesses on my side, I have a good shot at getting full custody, but it's only day one and nothing has started yet. Tom sexually assaulted me. It didn't go far thanks to my brother, but it's left me very shaken. I agreed to let Tom come over to visit the kids whenever he wanted. So when he came over yesterday evening and went into the garden with the kids, I went for a shower. Coming out of the bathroom, he cornered me about wanting to talk. I told him it wasn't the time and told him either go out to the girls or leave. He started saying he made a mistake, Tammy was a nut job, and he wanted to come home to us. I told him, get the fuck out of my house, and there is no us. So he started saying stuff I physically can't type without breaking down, then tried to force a makeout session to put it politely. Thankfully, my brother heard and came running. 
Unfortunately, the kids heard everything when my brother and Tom started fighting. I was in complete shock at the time to try to do anything to help the situation. Even when Tom was being taken away, I was too scared to move and couldn't confront my crying children. Not my proudest moment. Remember I said before I adopted older cats? Well, I put cameras through common areas in my home to watch them while I'm at work. One of those areas is the hall between my room and the bathroom. I don't know what to do with Tom going forward, but I know I can't face him ever again, even with supervision from my father or brother who both work in law enforcement. Tammy sent hundreds of messages to me and my oldest two, but I can't block her by my lawyer's request. My ex-in-laws have reached out and told me they'll help me with whatever way I need. His sisters have disowned him, but this is still all very new. They might change their mind. I plan on moving after everything gets sorted so I won't ever cross Tammy's path. Thank you all for your love and support. Hopefully I can give you all a positive update in the future and to the young men sending messages asking for nudes or sending me pictures of your privates. Thanks for the laugh, but I'm done with dick. Relevant comments. Commenter. Blimey, you poor thing. I am so sorry for you and very sad that you had to endure this. I hope the children didn't see their dad violating their mother. Best of luck in the future. Answer. They didn't see he told them he went in for drinks, but due to me screaming, they came in and saw my brother started bashing their dad off stuff and calling him a rapist along with other things, then Tom tried to fight my brother to get away. Just to be clear, my ex didn't get as far as to rape me. Commenter. Still, it's scary for kids. I can't see why your ex would think this was appropriate when he came over to be with the children. Answer. I don't know going though, his and Tammy heads to be this focused on me when they should be seeking comfort in each other. But Tom did say I never lost any of his kids when it was happening. Like, if I'm being honest, he was saying some unhinged creepy things like, I've known the him since I was 14. It was like I was looking at Tom, but at the same time it wasn't him if that makes sense. Commenter. Christ on a bike, I thought police involvement would be because of Tammy, not Tom. I thought Tom would try to get you back when he realized how badly screwed up by leaving you for Tammy, but sexual assault is not the way to make a woman think, hell yes, let's go, you can come home at once. I'm so glad you had your brother there to rescue you. What the feck is he on that he thought to himself, how do I woo my ex-wife back? I know I'll force myself upon her, that'll make her want me back. Really, Tom, fecking really? Please don't beat yourself up for freezing, as it's a fairly common reaction to assault. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Please tell me you're pressing charges. I would also suggest counseling for you and your girls when you're ready, as this is going to stay with all of you. Again, I'm so sorry he did this to you. Answer. Yeah, I'm going to press charges and my kids will get counseling because my oldest is blaming herself and won't leave my side. How do you like this story? Write your opinion in the comments. Let's get 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Love you.